Hey everyone, for those that are coming back to my channel, welcome back. And for those that don't know me, my name is Laura. So I, I've been trying to video this for two days straight now. Um, and I have not gotten to do it. So I am just getting this video done today, no matter what. So if you see me randomly like pause and then come back, that's, uh, that's, I'm just trying to get this video done at this point. <laughs> um, I wanted to share the worst part of cloth diapering in our experience so far. And if you see me looking down at the corner, I have Grace on the monitor right now. She's sleeping, so that's why I keep looking down at the corner. Um, so the worst part of cloth diapering for us has been the kind of like trial phase of cloth diapering. So we've been cloth diapering for four months now and I can say that we absolutely love it and I would not change a thing other than this one thing. And it's kind of inevitable. And I know most people are probably thinking, oh, if she's saying she's gonna, she hates cleaning out the poop. That's not it. Um, actually, fun fact, did you know that when you're using disposables, you're also supposed to get the poop out of the diaper before you throw it in the trash? That is something I learned um, when I first started cloth diapering that I had no idea about and I know most people don't do, but it was just a fun fact that I wanted to throw in there. But no, it's not cleaning the poop out of the diapers. Um, I don't mind that at all. Um, it's just part of cloth diapering and it's not something I mind. The worst part has been the trial part of cloth diapering. So if you've seen my reviews, um, things like that, you know I use pocket diapers and I have mentioned multiple times that I have kind of started falling in love with covers, pre-folds and flats, which is the truth. Um, but with that being said, there is a trial part of cloth diapering. So when you hear people say, if you're starting out, try a bunch of different things, really try a bunch of different things. Um, I was not a person who did that because I saw the majority of people love pocket diapers. So I just went out and I bought a ton of pocket diapers. I didn't try covers. I didn't try flats. I didn't try prefolds. I just tried pocket diapers and inserts. And I feel like that's where I went wrong at first. Um, if I were going to tell me something um, in the past when I was starting cloth diapering, I would say literally try everything. Get like one of different brands and just try it out and see what you love. Um, and that also goes for trying different styles. Get get a pocket, get an all-in-one, get an all-in-two, get, get covers, like try everything and see what you love. And then once you see what you love, you can sell the things that you don't love. Um, if you go on the, like places like Mercari or certain um buy sell trade groups have on facebook you can you can sell your diapers for almost probably or sometimes even more than what you paid for them so that is one thing that i suggest because i i did love pocket diapers in the beginning and i got the pocket diapers with the micro suede lining i have found out i still love the micro suede i do um, but I have found out that I love the athletic wicking jersey. Um, that's something I prefer over the micro suede. Something I also found that I love, which I told you, was the covers, flats, and pre-folds. Now, I do love the covers, flats, and pre-folds. I really do. The one thing that I would say now is... Uh, when I fall in love with something, I love to stick to that and just kind of go with it. So I was doing cover slats and pre-folds for probably two, two to three weeks now. And I still love it. I, I love the system and how it works. Um, it's more cost effective. You can use a cover over and over again if it's not soiled. I love that. Um, but one thing I also and realizing our pockets are so like much more convenient at times because pockets when I put them away and I store them they're already stuffed they're ready to go I can just grab it out of my drawer and put it on grace whereas covers I kind of like to customize what I want when I'm putting it on grace so 
while I, I'll have some folded in the origami fold, I'll have some folded like pad fold and they'll be ready to go. But sometimes I love to throw a booster in there. Um, and sometimes I just like to wing it with what I do. Like it's so customizable with flats and covers and pre-folds and covers and things like that, that sometimes um, it's not as convenient as just grabbing a pocket diaper and throwing it on Grace. Um, so that is something I have learned. So we, right now our stash is mostly pockets and covers, pre-folds, flats. And then I also have some in inserts as well. But as far as the trial process goes, uh, there are so many brands and so many like different types of diapers like all in ones there's so many different styles to them too like there are some which is sewn in um absorbency there are some with like snake style inserts like there are so many different styles to diapers it's not even funny and I'm sure that if I tried even more I'd fall in love with a billion other things so that's the problem with cloth diapering like there are so many things that you will love and there are so many different things to try so again I just recommend getting as many different things as possible and seeing what you like and then from there going from there um once you know what you like I feel like you'll have a general idea if you will like something else like say you like one brand because it has a tummy panel and an athletic wicking jersey and a bit back pocket pocket opening that's big like those are features that you can look for in other diapers as well and say hey i'm gonna like this diaper because it has all that or hey i'm not gonna like this diaper because it doesn't have a tummy pa tummy panel and go off of that um or if you're an all-in-one type of person and you know what you prefer you can go off of that like there are so many different things to try that i recommend trying as much as possible um, if you're starting out, I would not just go with one thing because what if you don't like it? Like you don't want to hate cloth diapering just because you got one, you tried one thing out and it didn't work out for you. I heard people try the, um, assembly brand and some people love it and some people hate it. And for those people that hate it and it was their first experience with cloth diapering, I would hate for them to just completely leave the cloth diapering community because of one thing they tried and didn't like so everyone is so different and that's the thing about cloth diapering you can get recommendations from one person and they might like different things than you like like that's what i'm seeing i bought four different or four of the same brand covers just different colors and i honestly don't like the brand at all and i was lucky enough to have tried different covers before getting those four because if it were just those four that I got and I based my opinion off of those four covers, I would absolutely hate covers, just being completely honest. So you have to find what works for you. And a lot of people say they hate, what, they hate hook and loop. And I get it when kids get older, they can pull the Velcro right off. That's understandable. But for newborns, sometimes that's the way to go because it's the best fit. It's the, like the best way to get the fit on your baby that you need. So, like I said, it's all about the trial process. And while I understand it's frustrating to try so many different things to see what you like, in the end, it's going to be so worth it because you're going to know exactly what you like and exactly what you prefer and be able to buy diapers based off of your preferences that you already have. So that, to me, is the absolute worst part of cloth diapering. And it's because I started with just a few things trying a few things rather than like widening my horizons of different cloth diapers different brands and things like that like right now i know what i love in a pocket diaper i know what i love in a cover i know what i love um as far as inserts go so i can look di look at diapers and say i know i'm not gonna like that diaper or i know i'm not gonna like this one um so it's definitely a trial process and it's something that I recommend, again, people just get and try different brands, different styles, because you, you really never know. People think that all-in-ones are going to be their type of diaper because it's most like a disposable where you can literally just put it on baby, take it off, throw it in a wash, put it back on baby. But a lot of people end up not liking all-in-ones. So it, it really all depends. Like it it's... 
all up to preference and it stinks when people ask what I recommend because it's totally going to be what you prefer. Um, I can recommend something and somebody's going to end up hating it and that's okay. But I don't want to recommend one thing and somebody end up hating it and completely just give up on cloth diapering. Um, so that's why I have a hard time on giving recommendations. And I know I hear it so many so many different times in the cloth diapering community looking at other people's videos that as baby grows, your preferences are going to change too. So that's another thing to keep in mind. So as baby grows and body changes and things like that, you're going to, well, you might not, but sometimes preferences change as to different styles and types of diapers that are fitting your baby well, that you prefer. So definitely try an trial and error part of cloth diapering, the trial, it, it is pretty rough, but I would say it's totally worth it. You can sell off whatever you don't like or you don't use. Um, and I would not do what I did looking back and just getting a few different brands. I would totally not recommend that. Definitely get a variety of different types and brands and see what you like best. So that to me is the worst part of cloth diapering. And I hope this was informative for people. Um, and I'm just trying to be transparent as to like our journey so far and what I've done wrong so far. Um, and just my opinions on different things because I know getting into cloth diapering is very overwhelming and you hear so many different recommendations and different opinions. And it's so important that you try things out for yourself. So I kind of want to get a list down below of what people love, what people have transitioned to over time. Did you love pockets and then you fell in love with all-in-ones? Do you love all-in-twos? What people like the best, what kind of transitions you made over time and things like that. Just so everybody kind of gets a well-rounded view that everybody's preferences are so different. Um, so just leave that down below and thank you guys for joining me and I will talk with you later.